Hi folks, this is Greg Lowe. This short video just shows you how to install SDU tools. First thing you need to do is download the tools. You do that by registering at our website and we'll send you a link to download the tools. All the tools live in a single script. They can be installed in a number of databases or they could be installed in a central database where they could then be used from. All of the tools install in a single schema called SDU tools. Make sure that you don't add anything else into that same schema because it's recreated completely each time and that means it will drop anything that was already there within that schema. For our example here, I'm just going to create a database called development and I'll install the tools in there. I already had a database called development, so we'll just see that that's been removed and recreated. So now we have an empty database to start installing the tools. As I said though, these could be installed in any other existing database. In the script, we need to just make one change, and that's to change the database name for where it needs to be installed to the correct database name. Just to make sure that we don't install them where you don't want them, We've also put a link to TempDB beforehand, so if you have something that fails about setting your database, then at least we're going to install them in TempDB rather than somewhere else. Let's just then execute the install script, and that's completed. If we now look in that database, we'll see that in the stored procedure section, there have been a number of procedures added to the SDU tools schema, a couple of table valued functions, and finally, a number of scalar functions. Once these are in place, the tools are installed. In later videos, we'll look at how to use the different tools. For more information on SDU tools and for a link to download them, please visit our site at www.sqldownunder.com.